In ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. All right, all right, come on, Francisco. We can make it. Oh, am I? You've certainly gotten heavier than last week. Oh, you shouldn't have eaten that last apple. Okay. All right, here. Yeah. Right there, yes. Hello, kids! Hello, good morrow to you. Is I, Goofus the Gallant. Yes, and I... Oh, I dropped my sword again. <laughs> oh, yeah, so praise the Lord told me to put on my sandals and to meet him here at this very hour. I only wish I knew what to expect. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right here. Goofus, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. today is a momentous day in your career. Mm -hmm. You have practiced and worked so hard and served the king so well that I am promoting you to the position of senior knight in training. Oh, how wonderful! Uh, well, what does that mean? It means you get to wear this nifty sash. Oh, my. Oh, nice. There you are. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> and it also means we must have the ceremonial washing of the feet. Oh. Yes, have um, a seat. I will get the I, royal sponge. Uh, well, um, are you going to bathe me? Oh, no, no, no. You are clean in God's eyes. Oh, okay. I must only wash your feet. Oh, no, no, no. I insist I must wash your feet. No, I must wash your feet. No, teacher, I insist I must wash your feet. No. Your feet. You! Wait. Squire Goss. Oh. This is a long standing tradition. Oh, all right. Yes. Let it be so for now. Okay. Have a seat. Okay. This is a very solemn ceremony. We must have complete silence. Okay. Please control yourself. Yes, I'm sorry. This is a very solemn occasion. Today you have risen to the rank of senior knight in training, and I, your teacher, have chosen to wash your feet. Oh, yes, so praise the Lord. I, I am very joyful and very grateful. It's just that I don't understand why you have to wash my tootsies. <laughs> ah. Well, you see, this is a way that a teacher can show his love for a student, just like Jesus did. Oh. Here. Let me get out the Bible and I shall show you. I do love opening that window and finding the Bible. <laughs> Here it is. In this report, Jesus knew he would be leaving soon. It, leaving? You mean like going back to heaven? Yes, but before he left, Jesus wanted to show his disciples how very much he loved them. So he washed his disciples' feet? Indeed he did. Oh. And when he had finished washing their feet, do you know what Jesus said? Mm -hmm. You need a pedicure! <laughs> no. no! No, he didn't. He asked them a question. He said, do you understand what I have done for you? Oh, uh, I was just about to ask the same question. I mean... Uh, that just seems so odd. Yes, well, you know, Jesus was their Lord and King. But the greatest King is the King who loves his people enough to serve them. Oh. Jesus said, now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Oh, so Jesus was teaching us that we should serve others to show them our love. You are learning well! <laughs> oh, yes, I'm, I just wish I was serving well. I mean, you know, I, I've been here for so long, and everyone's been so nice to me and done so many nice things, and I just haven't had the chance to return the favor. I mean, look at you right now, you, my teacher, washing my feet. I should be serving others. And so you shall, when the time is right. Oh, yes, but there is no time like the present. I shall wash everyone's feet right now. Here oh, we go. No, uh, let's, see, uh, let's see. Oh, you, yes. Your man. Oh, you, look, you have sandals on. Uh, take your sandals off, and I will wash your feet. And then the royal painting of the toenails. Here no, we go. no, Paint Squire, oh. gosh, wait. No, that boy doesn't want his toenails painted. Well, he doesn't. No. Sure? no, the Bible doesn't say that we should get everyone a mani-pedi. Oh, it, it doesn't? No. 
The foot washing that Jesus did was simply an example. I, I don't think I understand. Well, come back up here and have a seat, uh, right. and I shall try and explain it to you. <clears throat> now, during the days when Jesus walked the earth, most people wore sandals. Mm -hmm. So when people walked from here to there, what would happen to their feet? Oh, they probably got stinky. Well, yes, <laughs> but they also got dirty. So when it was time for dinner, they had to get cleaned up. Oh, like when I have to wash my hands before eating. Yes, wow. the Israelites washed their hands, but they also washed their feet before dinner. And at wealthier homes, there were servants who would come around to each person and wash their feet for them. Well, yeah, but he's the son of God. I mean, he shouldn't have to do that. Precisely. Jesus didn't have to. He chose to do the lowest job to show his love he did it so that we could learn from his example that we should always show love by serving one another. Oh, I see. So we can show love to others by serving them yes. and be more like Jesus. Yes. Oh, yes, but we don't have to necessarily wash their feet. Yes. Oh, we can do other things. Oh, let's see. Oh, like doing their chores for yes. them. Yes. Oh, or we can take out the trash. Yes. Or help our brothers and our sisters do their homework. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Or we can give our friends the ride to church on Francisco. Or we could help clean out Francisco's stable. Yes. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, oh, I don't want to do that. Um, there's lots of, um, you know, smelly stuff. Oh, did Jesus say that we should just do the jobs we like to do? Uh, no, I, I guess he didn't. I mean, he did the nastiest job of all. Mm -hmm. And I want to be more like Jesus, so I shall serve Francisco by cleaning out his stable. Good show, my knight in training. Oh, that's senior knight in training, actually. Uh -huh. Come, Francisco, I shall serve the king by serving you. After all, say it with us, kids. Serving the king is the noblest thing. Ta-ta, children. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's get that stinky stuff.